Uh, my name is Mark Verbis. I'm the designer of Verbis Electronics. It, this is my still fairly new um, Eurorack synthesizer. Um, and we're in the Alex 4 booth at the Music Mesa. Nice color scheme. Thank you. So um, it's a, a, a set of right now five modules. And uh, the, the first one I'd like to talk about is called the Voltage Multistage, which is um, at its core an eight stage analog sequencer with a, a few tricks up its sleeve. It's controlled by a sawtooth wave oscillator that, that um, puts out the, a falling ramp from the ref output, which can be used as an. Uh, can be used as a, is it too hot now? Oh, as a, a decay only envelope generator that is the entire length of the stage. And meanwhile, if the if the switch is in the on position, then a gate comes out that's um, one third the length of that of the stage. If if the switch is, is switched to the off position. Right, so it's not a standard step sequence. Uh... But if it's switched into the slide position, then the, the gate plays for the entire length, and the slide goes from where the, the previous step was to where we're going, the entire length of the stage in a linear, linear and the, the gate stays open the whole time. But what that allows to do, in addition to um, kind of TB303 type uh, sequences, it also allows the, the module to be used as a, a multi-stage envelope generator because all of the the sliding takes the entire length of the of the um, stage and then the clock is voltage controllable so it can be used to um, automate the the times and so is it is it two channel effectively yes right. and any of it, these at the top are gate outputs for the individual stages, and any of those can be turned into a sustained stage that will hold as long as the gate is high uh, on the input, making it, it, it possible to do any sort of uh, multi-stage envelope up right, to so eight it's, stages it's long. Like fairly complex sense of also, the the opposite of the sustain would be enable, which is uh, an input that whatever stage is patched into will only play through during the time a key is down and then stop when it's not down, allowing um, any sort of modulation generator that plays only during a key press. Right, okay. So, using also the um, strobe input will jump when it's when it's um, clicked this button or strobed from the pulse or from an external pulse will jump the sequence to whatever stage is selected by this control or from an external CV going in, allowing this the sequence to go from any stage to any stage. Right. So, um, allowing the module to be used as um, any sort of shape of LFO, any length of sequence up to eight stages with slides and gates and ons and offs, and any multi-stage envelope up to eight stages. Second would be the, the complex oscillator, which is obviously built on the tradition of some of the old um, Buchla oscillators where there's a dedicated modulation oscillator on the left and uh, an audio oscillator on the right with a, a fairly um, involved wave shaper that will start with sine wave and then introduce higher order harmonics such as square waves, saw wave, or double frequency saw, or at the lower end of the um, harmonic order, create the, the classic um, wave multiplier, timbre, wave folder that, that we know from Surge and Bupa and whatever. Then the modulation oscillator can select between triangle square and saw waves, and then either FM or AM all the way up to ring modulation right. with voltage control of the uh, modulation index. 
uh, third module. The amplitude and tone controller is an all discrete uh, VCA with separate inputs for exponential and linear control. Each of those has a, a fully reversing attenuator on, on the input and voltage can be added or subtracted from either of the inputs to, to in, in most of the, the VCAs that we see with separate inputs for exponential and linear, you can only put in positive voltage into either one, meaning that if you add if you add gain on the exponential in, you cannot take it away using the linear in. But in this case, that's all done away with, and either one can add and or subtract and mix together. And then on the, the front end, there's a, a, a gain stage and a Vactrol-based low-pass filter, allowing um, any of the the effects traditionally associated with um, oops, sorry, uh, associated with the low pass gates to be achieved, um, including the both mode that, that um, is a one pole low pass filter and followed by a VCA, or the low pass mode, which is a low pass filter with. Um, so Some risk. Kind of, uh, yeah, and um, and then I've also added quite a lot of, of gain on the on it so that it can um, actually act as the drive circuit as well, and can do it has resonance with, with, with limiting and the feedback, so it can do some of the sounds that we might expect to hear from an MS20 or something like that as well. Oh, wow, interesting. Fourth, um, the harmonic oscillator is the same triangle core discrete transistor based oscillator that w is in the, the complex oscillator, but <clears throat> the, in addition to the basic triangle square and saw outputs, a, a, a wave shaper that folds the, the triangle over on itself to create um, uh, to create triangles of double, three times, four times, five, all the way up to eight times, and then run through sine, uh, sine wave shapers to have sine waves for the first eight harmonics, and then a, a voltage-controlled mixer with some uh, uh, techniques for addressing it that um, allow it to to do some some sounds not heard in any other module. So each each. Each um, harmonic has a slider to control its its uh, presence in the mix. A CV in to control that harmonic. So you can modulate individual harmonics. As well. Yes, but then also um, some some facilities to to mix them together in um, creative ways that allow it actually to to make some sounds that you would associate with a, an oscillator followed by a filter. But in fact, there's no filter. It's just an it's additive tech. And this, oh, this can do some interesting things that actually can sound like um, uh, they're coming out of a wave table or an FM synth or something like this. And then um, spectral tilt, which takes the existing mix that's, that's up doing whatever it is and favors either the high end or the low end of, of it and also from voltage control. That's great, and it can be it's uh, it can be CV for the pitch, so you can play this in a, in a sort of standard keyboard way as well. As yes, as well. and it'll track a, a Volper octave uh, um, and uh, dynamically mix these together. And then the final module in the in the cabinet here is the um, dual four pole, which is a, a basic um, configuration of a, a high pass filter and a low pass filter that is uh, built on the, the core that was used in a, a Buchla 100 series um, filter that's all discrete transistors and and um, a four pole cascade that um, that is pretty sort of lo-fi and old world, but a, a, a novel thing when, when resonance, I added resonance to this design. 
And because of the, the, the lack of matching, when we say, because of the way that, that the um, discrete integrator stages work out, it'll never self-oscillate, but that actually allows it to, to do some of the um, resonance sounds that we expect from you know, like a TB303 or something like these real, real uh, vocal resonance sounds. They will never self-oscillate, but we'll do. And because each of the, each of these these filters in the module have two uh, in reversing attenuator control inputs, it can be send one control signal in with both of them up and one in, one down and one up, and treat it like a bandpass filter with. Uh, really cut off and band pass, uh, yeah, bandwidth really, controls. Really interesting modules. What sort of prices are they carrying out? What, what you have um, I don't know the price list. Uh, fan, uh, Alex Four is representing them in, in Europe, and they have developed the price list, but I don't okay, know what it is. Um, there, uh, initially, we went into this hoping, hoping that we could get in below the, the Schwemann kind of pricing, and I think that we're actually lower than, than we expected, so it's... I'm really interested in modules, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.